Well, hello, everybody. Hello. One person. Hello. <laughs> I should have uh, done my hair a little better today. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I'm... No, I'm not the person. Ugh. Hi, Lori. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Tiger. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Tammy, I, uh, yours is the last I have left. Well, one of three. And I just went to the darn... Hi. Hello, Sue. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. You guys, I... Whew, I got the goosies. It's a little chilly. Hey, Jamie. All good. I knew you would be all right with it. Um... I just got back from the post office. Ugh. Like, there is nothing more, like, rewarding than when you drive away from the post office. <laughs> because it's like, I finally got it all. Not done, but I got a lot out. So, that was good. Um, I mean, <sighs> hey, Cindy Sanderstone, I missed you there. Um, hey, Christine. You guys, I still need to find a way to magically attach my tablet up here also. <laughs> I want everything, in case you didn't know. I want everything. So that's all. I just have to find a way. But I like this up here, so I maybe I could lower you just a tad. I mean, I'm all ready. I'm just going to give it another minute or two. Um, I guess what I could talk about is uh, what a lot of you probably already know. Hi, Lori. Aww. Oh, thank you, Nanette. Oh, Lori, you guys. Thanks, you guys. You're so sweet. Um, so I went to the, after I went to, to the bank, or to the post office. Hey, Maria. Mm -hmm. Hey, Deb. Why does my daughter text me when I'm, get, sorry, you guys, I gotta text her a second. Sorry. Hey, my bad. Sorry. I will get so much use out of that thing. I'm telling you what. So. <laughs> she's like, oh, sorry. Have a good one. So you guys would not even believe how much more cleaned off this is and how my floor is reappearing in the living room. If you don't already know the news, I moved my son down to the basement. And the way I feel today about him I wish there was a lock on the door so I could lock him in. He's in the shower, so. <laughs> Wait, what, Tammy? Oh, quarantine. Well, we're not doing Thanksgiving because my cousin feels, you know, she doesn't want to put anybody in jeopardy because they've got kids. You know, they've got younger kids and I don't know, whatever. But my kids are both... Hey, Thrift You. I know that's got to be Sarah saying McComfy. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Um, so, yeah, we moved into the basement. I got his room. Today, I am, after the sale, I think I'm going back to Walmart and get another shelving unit thing. <laughs> Kelly's peek into the past. Hello. Um... Hey, you guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up when you come in. Um, so, yeah, so I'm uh, 
getting really organized in there. I still have some like um, unboxing, like not that you guys haven't seen, but like from the bins and stuff, I have to unpack some of that stuff yet. <laughs> it's all in these bags and stuff, but it's all in there now. And then today, I swear, I want to do my Christmas decorations. This why, this, oh yeah. Well, I don't have what you have, but, <laughs> but you know, I'm low key doing it. I have like the plastic shelving that goes vertical. Vertical, vertical, <laughs> across two words, vertical. And hi, Belinda, thanks for coming. So yeah, this day will get underway in a minute. I usually chit chat for a little bit first. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting that I'm getting that room and I'm setting it up. And the next time that I do shipping, it will be in there. And yes, orange and pinks drop today because there were 15 cars in front of me at Starbucks. So I went to Duncan. Mm -hmm. And Lori, it's in the mail. <laughs> Finally, finally, let me just see, because I haven't put this away, and just because you're right there, and hello to, um, who else did I see? Amy. Amy Gaston. I'm glad that they like me at the post office now, because, you know, it takes a little while. Oh, here it is. Oh, and it might have even cost five dollars less. So I'll have to I'll have to um, credit you. So it's expected to be there Monday. But a package in going to Las Vegas is supposed to go there Monday too. That's weird. I'm sure you'll get it before Monday, but well, it's the holiday. Who knows what the heck? So anyway, you guys. Oh yeah. Honey, please. That was poor Santa is like taking a dive into the box. He is, as I would say, ass up. <laughs> so, yeah, I wrote you a note on the box and everything. <laughs> it is. Oh, my God, Sarah. It is like I am starting to see. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, you're going to have the big, I mean, it's like, yeah, too bad you had to pay for it. Uh, otherwise, it would be like Christmas coming your way, <laughs> Lori. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm feeling good getting it all set up in there. Like putting things like figurines with figurines and, and holidays in certain places and all these, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, that and um so it's nice to get, that was still PG, wasn't it? Um, he's in a mood. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't think I have anything that, that is a challenge today. Nope, it's all small. Um, except, well, it's all small, except here's the thing. If you were interested in any of the paint by numbers, let me first say, hi, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, Misty, did I miss you come in? Oh, girl. Yeah, um, right? You saw. Um, paint by numbers. Some of those are for Laura. She claimed them, and I. she's the reason I got them, to be honest. So... Um, if you're interested, some of you may have already messaged me and I will look at that. I'm working on the prices and I, um, I want to, I wish I could have like done it today in the sale, but I just haven't had time because of the organization situation. But, um, yeah. Over the next couple few days, I might be reaching out to some people if they have messaged me about it. <laughs> and you're one of them, other half. So, yeah, there's that. 
Um, now, let's talk about the fun stuff. December is going to be a recelebration. Every Tuesday in the month of December, we are having a four way sale with Misty from Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, duh. <laughs> Alex from Chapter Two Vintage Co. Michael from Instagram's The Cult of Vintage. And if you are not following him, you should. And it's the period, cult, period of period vintage oh i got it <laughs> i talk a lot um you know what that is is i got it at goodwill honestly it so it's a peppermint marshmallow and it's from party light and it's got like little um nutcracker dudes around it and it's pink and purple but i got it at goodwill for a decent price because i only pay like if it's a good price, but yeah, um, it doesn't have, I will say it doesn't have the best throw and this is all a mess, but today this is getting done. Yeah. It's a little time for me to, I gotta, I gotta like be able to sit down for a few minutes at the end of the night and just sit in the glow of all the beauty. You know what I mean? So I have to start at the beginning of November. This is how long it takes me. So yeah, um, this next, the first one is going to be on Alex's channel. So if you're not following Chapter 2 Vintage Co., and I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you're not, you need to in order to see our sale on Tuesday. So yeah, if you haven't figured it out, we kind of are like trading off and stuff, you know. Remember last time? It was my first time like navigating the, the sale yeah. so um yeah there's that um we're each going to do 10 items and then we're just going to have fun we're going to chit chat i mean 10 items doesn't sound like a lot but when i say 10 items i mean we're probably bringing you 10 like quality items and I would imagine that out of 10, that we're probably each going to have two or three best offers. You never know. I mean, we try to bring some of our best stuff to the four ways because I think that you guys have kind of come to expect it. So it's not that I don't have the good stuff here because I think I do, you know, but um. I don't know. For some reason, it's like you guys are uh, come prepared. You come a little more prepared for a, a little bigger ticket item or something. But, hey, don't let it stop you from today. <laughs> okay. So, um, speaking of Instagram, where are we? Well, we are now. Um, I'm on Instagram. And if you don't know that, well, I mean, it's probably because I'm not like a big presence on there, but I try. I need to learn a little more. Um, I'm comfy, cozy, living 66 on there. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. she fancy. She fancy. See, Misty's bringing, mm -hmm. you guys want a sneak peek of what I'm bringing? I, I got one thing. I'll show you what I'm bringing. Oh, hang on. One server. Um, and I might have to step away because it looks like, well, you never know when, um, Bella, you need to zip it. My dog is off. Mm. Okay, are you ready? What? What? It's not a rush done. But goodbye. That's it. It's not a Rushton, but Misty and Michael have both helped me try to figure it out. And oh, he knows. Mm hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, he's he is a little judgy. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Only because you asked nice. Did you? Wait, I don't know. 
Hey, Judy. He is, he has a mm, soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, these boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. They're from Japan, and if you're good, you won't get one up your butt. See, okay, so Misty said possibly Harold Gale. Then, um, and we know it's not a Rushton. Okay, so what um, Michael was telling me is that he thinks it might be what is called a uh, Impressionist. Oh, uh, interesting to know. Um, and so it might be like a combination something or other. I don't know. Let's just say it's still awesome. And I'm still looking and researching, but, um, we'll see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's something you could look forward to on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And I guess you're going to have to be prepared because it seems like the sniper's already interested. <laughs> So um, let's go with today's sale, and, and I'll try to get started because I saw Jermango that way, so hopefully, you know, I never know. I don't remember. No, not today. Yes, I'm teasing you. I, it's a sneak peek for Tuesday. Wait, what was that? <laughs> yes, two sales. So for, you mean, I, I think you're referring to like Misty, me, and Alex. Uh, we're still all having our regular sales. I think Misty has, um, oh, who's the, <laughs> she asks. Okay, well, guess who just pulled up? Mm -hmm. So you guys know what time it is. It's time to hold on to your horses. Because Mr. Germain just pulled up. I don't know how I got guys so sorry misty Ooh, this one's from erin she's been teasing me <gasps> Ooh, thrifting adventures i haven't ordered anything from stephanie well i'm excited hmm all right, so sorry. Okay, guys, so. Oh, is Rachel here? Hi, little sister. Hi, Katie. I know people are like, what do you, why do you call Rachel little sister? Isn't Rachel your daughter? Yes, and yes. <laughs> so are you further confused? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we're scaling back, like Misty was saying. Oh. Hi, Diana. Hey, Miss Pamela. Did I say hi? Um, so we're going to be scaling back. And I, I've been trying to scale back, but, you know, my scaling back isn't always the same as everybody else's scaling back. But a girl's trying. Last week I had it at three hours. This week it probably go a little more than that, but uh, you know I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, if you do order or if you do 
have interest in the item today. Hi, Tina. Hi, stuffed, overstuffed house. <laughs> no. Why? Who else's name? No. My daughter's name is Rachel, but I call Rachel from Superior Girl Vintage, my little sister. We're both Midwestern girls, and, um, uh, well, and also she shares my Rachel's birthday, and, um, what else? Oh, cause I was, cause I call, uh, my Kim, I call my Kim, Lil Kim, Lil Pretty, and, um, so, uh, she wanted this nickname, so she's my little sister. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got that right. Mm. So, anyhow, today, if you're interested in the item, you claim the number. If you're the first one that I see to claim that number, I see, then you will earn the purchase power. And to claim the item that you have purchase power on, I need your real name. Oh, okay. I need your real name, your YouTube name, mailing address, and I need your PayPal information. And you can send that to comfycozyliving at gmail.com. And I know that my girl, Carrie, KCATX, is going to be here for me today. I think. Is she, I, did I even? Oh, yay. Oh. Oh, Misty, I'm so happy for you. Today's a happy day. Mm-hmm. I got happy news from somebody else today, too. But I can't share that because it's not my place. I'm just saying, it's a happy day in YouTube land. That's all. So, um, let's do this, okay? To start, I have this beautiful Art Deco. Do you have, you have been... Doing live sales for a while. Oh, just be yourself, but um, try not to talk as much as I do. And um, have good lighting. And sometimes move slowly. Make sure you have a good connect. I don't know. Don't let anybody else be on the internet. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not the pro here. <laughs> anyway, beautiful Art Deco stainless steel chrome. Uh, salt and pepper. Look how you can like, you know, it's like slant. It's like looks all cute because it's round. It's cute, right? It, yeah, I got it full of salt and pepper. And let me tell you, it, I'm. Uh, it's like a beach up in here. You know, I know how many times I've swept and everything. It's ridiculous. So anyhow, very cute. No marks on it. It's just, you know, and I tried to get it all cleaned up and shined up. But there's two little spots I can see I didn't get in. Maybe three, but that's all right. But it's cute, right? Yeah. It's $10. Oh, wait. It does have a mark. I forgot. It doesn't. The, the mark is on the. The mark is not on the um, silver, the stainless steel. Um, but the. Um, oh, yeah. You can put napkins in there. Mm -hmm. And But the, there's the. I'm so sorry. There's the. If you can see it. It is Japan. So it's $10. Yeah, I'll show you. You can put the napkins in there. Full service here. Full service. You don't get to keep them, though. I do. <laughs> $10, number 42. $10, number 42. Hi, Sandra Outerbridge. I'm going to refresh my thing real quick. Hi, Frenchie Mom. Yes, that's right, Rachel. Because when somebody doesn't buy it the first round, they'll buy it the second time. <laughs> So, um, this I think is depression glass. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, are you kidding me? Well, crap. All right, apparently it's cracked, but I can't feel it at all. Oh, dang it all. Can you see that little crack right there? Oh, I'm ticked. Anyway, it's still cute because, see, what I would do is if I had to display, if I had an ornament, it just looks cute with an ornament in it. Like, I think a cute, like, ball ornament, like a color that would go with the green, like, I mean, the pink, like a green or a white or a silver, you know, or blue, well, really anything. But it looks cute. It's just, you know, it doesn't matter that it's got a cut or a little chip um, in it. So I'm going to uh, just take a dollar off for that little crack, and we'll call that $5 for number 54. $5 number 54. It's still real pretty. Yeah, it's pink. It's real light pink, but it's got a little crack in it, Lori. Like I said, I don't know. Where the heck did it? It's right there. I can't. I mean, you guys, I don't even feel it. It's just. I don't know. Okay, you got it, Lori. I put it with your angel. Okay, you guys, this next item, oh my goodness, I was, try, you know, I always try to look at everything, hi Jennifer, um, I always try to look and see, you know, what things are going for, so I know how to price them, uh, this is on eBay for $24.35, say what now, how do I, I, I mean, it's made in Occupy Japan, so, yeah, I mean, I know, but I didn't realize that this was such a, I mean, it's cute. It's beautiful. I love a clock. I love a clock. Now, I'm not charging you $24, but when I know that it's worth something, you know, I got to do with the right thing like everybody else would do. So, I mean, it's not huge, but that doesn't ma matter. Price doesn't go by size. It goes by quality. And this is beautiful. It's about three and a half inches. It's got these the cute little um, blue and, and uh, pink flowers. And it's got the gold detail. And again, it's made in Occupied Japan. It's going to be $18. And it's number 15. $18, number 15. That's right. That's right, uh, Rachel. Um and uh, what was I just thinking to say? Oh, I don't do that on everything. I just, I figure if I give a good price that, you know, but see, then even, why would I do an offer up that I do $18 and I still don't have an, uh, any interest, you know? So it is what it is, you know? Um, all right. I've got these. Wow, what am I missing here? Um, these two little pigs, they're like Dalmatian pigs. What are you going there for her for your birthday? Huh? You going because of your birthday? Um, just be careful, yeah. Yeah. So this is um, a, yes, dachshund pigs. They're they're um, you put like your um, I think to rest your utensil on. Hi, Nate. Your car? Yeah, here. Well, when when are you gonna be back? Okay. Because Rachel needs when she gets back. Yeah. Bye. Um, 
anyway, yeah. So aren't they cute? I never saw these before in my life. But hey, Carrie. Yeah, knife rests. That's the proper term, I guess. So they're going to be $6 for the pair, and they're number 67. $6, yeah, or rest chopsticks, yeah. $6, number 67. Auntie Sash got them, all right. Thank you. Okay, you guys, this next item is a little Inuit um, cinnamon shaker, cinnamon sugar shaker, sugar and cinnamon, it says on the other side, but I say cinnamon sugar. And um, when, you know, when it was empty, that see, you would have the shaker, but then when it's empty, you can use it as a coin, um, like a bank. See the slot? Hey, Randy girl. Oh, and also you guys, while, um, since found again, uh, Kelly is here. I just want to show you because I'm not wearing her earrings today. I'm wearing different ones, but let me just show you the ornaments that she's made and I'm in love with. I can't remember the prices. I want to say this one might be 10 and this one might be they might both be 10 there. This is six or 10. I honestly don't remember. So don't, don't quote me on that, but she's here. So, um, yeah, you guys, she, these are beautiful, aren't they? All about my boho vibe. And also, um, I just like it when a friend has made something. So anyhow, this Inuit, 15, 15. Oh, you want that clock? Okay, Um, Sue, are you a little behind possibly or did you just know that number? And I love that tree. Thank you very much, Kelly. Sue, you got that. I'll, I'll, I'll write you down for that. If you're behind, make sure you um, refresh. And if you just, I don't know. It's where those flags are. You got to slow down. Good hope. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so back to the Inuit, which I'm saying properly now, right? It's a cute little bank, too. Oh, I was just showing these um, ornaments that Kelly from Found Again makes that I love. Love, love the snowflake. This is the only snowflake I like. <laughs> I hate the real kind. And then this tree made with vintage buttons that I love, 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 love. I love these so much. And that's Kelly at Found Again. She's amazing. And I love it that she's like kind of local to me. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. I'm probably going to get you all overwhelmed. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so this little Inuit, <laughs> well, I also have her earrings. I didn't have them on today, that's all. Yeah, Sue, I got you for that number um, 15, but if you're behind, make sure you refresh, okay, so that you can be live with us. So anyhow, um, uh, the little Inuit is uh, $12 and number 36. Twelve dollars, number thirty-six, and it's a it's a bank or a shaker, whichever you want it to be. Yeah, I could I I, I could hang those all over my house. I love them. I love 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 love. Okay, also have this little. Craft macaroni and cheese, dino dish, or whatever you want to call it. I kind of tried to clean it out. I should have just washed it in this sink, but there's dishes in there. So anyhow, this little dino dish, I don't know what year it's from. 
I mean, this was like probably at 1980s um, because I feel like I'm missing out on all kinds of conversation today. Um, it's probably from the 80s and I was grown then, so. <laughs> um, anyway, it is uh, $5 and it's number 59. Five dollars, number fifty-nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not the only one, huh? <laughs> okay, I have this. Um, oh, that's all right. I have this Christmas tree that is a hobbyist piece. Mary did it in 1981, but it has some chips, and I guess I didn't realize this one on the back is no big whoop, right? But there's one, um, there's one right here, a tiny one, and then, um, hi pickled, and then like right here. So my, my suggestion would be just either using this as like a trinket dish or, you know, just like, um, yeah, that was, that was, it is a cinnamon sugar. Is everybody behind or what is the? Everybody might need to refresh. Because now all of a sudden we're talking about this again. <laughs> so the, the Inuit uh, cinnamon shaker is $12, number 36, if anybody's interested. Okay. And then the, the little dino dish is, number, is $5 for number 30. Uh, number 59, I'm sorry, number 59, okay. But now this this dish has some, like I said, has some uh, damage chips. But um, but the thing about it is I, um, I would just like maybe even put some like beads, you know, like mercury glass beads, if you're lucky enough to have any, like I am. Um... Yeah, make sure I stay light because today is ugly, rainy out. So I'm not getting any light from outside. Um, or, you know, just um, a candle, something like that. Hi, pickled. You know, just don't put anything edible on here because of the chips. That's all. So anyhow, um, it's only $6 and it's number 26. $6, number 26. I mean, it's really pretty and it's very well done other than those couple little chips. Okay, this next item a friend of mine made uh, several years ago. I'm just starting to part with a few things. And, um, yeah, it's a little rusty water watering can with a bottle brush tree in it. And it's in there. She's, you know, it's in there. It's not just like one of these that's just like kind of tucked. It's like it's glued in. Um, it's only $6 and it's number 49. $6, number 49. Hey girl, you got it, can uh, Lori? Um. Oh, little Kim, I was so happy to see your video, you guys. If you haven't seen little pre Kim, mm hmm, she showed her face. I don't know why she's nervous. If I look like that, I'd be all over the TV. I mean, I already am all over your screen, and I don't look like Kim. <laughs> so, Kim, I know you got the nerves. Just shake it off, girl, because you're just as cute as you can be. All right, you guys. Let me get this next handful. Some good stuff. Good stuff is what I'm telling you. Be ready to buy stuff, people. You got me? Mm-hmm. All right. So, I got this little rooster cup, half cup. It's from Japan. It's adorable. 
it's very lightweight. Very lightweight. I mean, like, it's not like one of these that is so heavy. It's very lightweight. Here's the size of it. It's a half a cup. It's only $5, and it's number 34. $5, number 34. Yeah, I'm working on that box. You know what the thing is? I'll be honest. When you do a mystery box for somebody that you know, or like you think you know, <laughs> you got it, Bobby Marcantonio, one of my favorite names. Um, The thing is, when I found out it was Kim, I was like, well, now I want to personalize it because I feel like I know her well enough to put all the cute things in there. So it's harder. Otherwise, I would have just thrown a bunch of stuff I haven't sold in there yet. You know, that's hard. It's hard for me to do mystery boxes because I want to make them special. All right. Next up is this little gold angel. It's you know, porcelain or ceramic or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Why, why can't I ever get those straight? Porcelain is a sink. I don't know. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean, Jamie? Yes. Thank you. But yes, thank you. <laughs> anyway, there's no um, nicks or anything. And it's funny because I don't think I've ever seen one just gold. And so... If it had a mark, it's been painted over, but I don't know. It might just be this way, but it's super cute. There's no dings, no chips, no nothing. It's $8, and it's number one. $8, number one. Did you get mine? Oh, you're talking to Kim. I imagine you're talking to Kim. I mean, anybody can send me a mystery box anytime you want. That's all I can say. I got three mystery boxes under my feet right now. Because did I, what did I order from Misty? Wait, that cannot be that, that cannot be that, um, Misty, is this the, the, this can't be the thing yet. You didn't even, um, bill me yet. It can't be the tree skirt yet, can it? It's super lightweight. I don't remember. Honest to God, I don't remember one week to the next what I, what I order anymore. I can't imagine some of you. <laughs> it's what I ordered from you. What did I order? Did I pay? Yes, I did. Wait, I recall paying for something. Because I think you paid for me for something and then I paid you for something. Open it. Okay, I'll rip it open, you guys. This is not how a sale is supposed to go. <laughs> Me opening my um my purchases. That's not the way it's supposed to be. I'm not opening the other ones. The other ones are going to be... Uh, the other one is going to be a video. For sure. Oh, yeah, I ordered, oh, I ordered these. They're gorgeous. I ordered all these mercury glass picks. Yes. Silver. Mm-hmm. Pink, silver, green, and gold. Ah. Ooh, I got a little. Hanky. Hanky, panky. Okay. Okay, I'm putting this aside, you guys. Making me get all off track. <laughs> right. Who said squirrel? You guys did that to me. You all are the, the ADDs. <laughs> and I just let it happen. <laughs> all right. So let's get back to this. Gold Angel. Did I, did I give a number on the poor little Gold Angel? The Gold Angel wants to go somewhere. Gold Angel is number one. Eight dollars. Number one. Eight dollars, number one. He's so cute. Oh, so sweet. So sweet. 
The five angel collectors out there, you gotta have this one. Oh, is my neighbor here? Hi, neighbor. All right, well, nobody, okay. I know somebody's going with this because it's funny, all the things that I'm like, oh, I totally wouldn't mind keeping that, then they for sure buy it. <laughs> So I have this brass ashtray, super cool. I mean, obviously I don't smoke, but but I sure do have a lot of junk in the hat. I got a lot of crap. I got like this little tag with a price on it. And I got some of these yummy Christmas nougat things. I got my lip stuff. I got my little measuring tape. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. Trinket dishes, if you are like me, you have this kind of crap everywhere you look. Like, I could literally line wherever I'm sitting with bowls, because I would have bowls full of stuff. And I have a thing for bowls. I have, like, some kind of affinity toward bowls. I just have a thing about bowls. And you know who puts out really cute bowls is Ikea. And I'm like, stop, Ikea. I see you, but I can't look at you. Mm-mm. Because you're too good. You bring out the cutest stuff. And I don't need all the bowls. You either world market. Okay? I just don't. But then this happens. And I'm like, I have to, right? $8 for this amazingness. Hey, Suze. Hey, Polly. $8, number 32. $8, number 32. <laughs> Jennifer, yes. Yes. <laughs> Chair full of bullies. That's hilarious. Okie dokie. Well, I, I don't see elderly here, but I see Randy here, so. um, My next item is a little poodle schnoda. Buddha Schnuda, and he's a left in, left in Buddha Schnuda. It is a left in trademark exclusives, Japan. Ooh, yum. Hi, Picasso cat. So yeah, this little guy, he's looking up. He he wants a T R E A T. And you know why I can't say that out loud? Because you know who. So anyway, this cutie little poodle schnuda is $15. Number 56. Number 56. Cutie patootie. No, no chips, no cracks, no nothing. Nothing but cuteness. Randy girl, you don't disappoint. <coughs> Randy girl. <coughs> Everybody, you guys know that who's coming, right? Everybody say hi to the dream. He's got his rain hat on. He looks like he's on a safari. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's the best. He's the best. Oh, <laughs> Carrie, you are funny, girl. <laughs> I gave her a treat before when he was here. So, anyhow, next up. Oh, Bella, that's about enough. Next up is this. You guys, doesn't this look... Hi, Trisha. Hi, hi Javier. You guys, doesn't this look like a uh, spode? If you just first look at it, like, I'm not, like, a spode expert. Like, a spode expert is probably, like, no, that's not. Like, like Jamie, my other half, she probably knows the tree. And she's probably, like, no, it doesn't have a red base. It has, you know. No, I mean, just the look of it, like, is it looks like a spode piece, right? If you're dumb like me and don't know. 
Yeah, thank you, Katie. Yeah, that's like, that's how I felt, right? But guess what? It's not a spoon, but it's another awesome name that you would never have guessed. Watch. What? Otagiri? Yes, it's lacquerware. Isn't that cool? It's lacquerware. It's an awesome piece of, uh, it says, um, Gibson Greeting Card Ink. Design Gibson Greeting Cards Ink. Otagiri. Like, what? I mean, Otagiri has got me going crazy shocked. Because, like, remember when I found that lacquered, um, with the, uh, it, it reminded us of Jeffrey. It had the hot air balloons on it. It was an address book. It's like, what? These are Otagiri things? Yeah. So, oh, well, so you probably need this then, Lori. <laughs> um, oh, Misty just ratted me out. That's probably when I was getting dis uh, distracted by Mr. Uh, Michael. Because I didn't write down, I didn't write down like three prices on Misty Sale yesterday because I was talking to Michael. I'm a bad helper sometimes. Anyway, this, and I'll tell you how big it is. It's like eight inches by like five and three fourths. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you. I can afford you, Carrie. <laughs> don't go. Don't leave me. Don't be poaching my help, Misty. <laughs> um, it, it's twelve dollars, and it's number seventy three. Twelve dollars, number seventy three. Misty, don't poach my help. I got. I got. I gotta stay in my uh, budget. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Lori Wortley's is written down. <laughs> I did all right. I even did it when I didn't have to. <laughs> okay, nobody wants it. Lori Wortley, you don't want this to go with your other one? <laughs> All right, next up is, oh, hello. I love this thing. It's a Farrington Texal jewelry box, like portable jewelry box, like a travel case. But look at the, look at the inside. I would use this, I mean, I, I don't even think I would have to have this like, in as jewelry i'd probably want to display this either use it as like a level but it's i like it because it's kind of got that soft top too but and i do not have a key for it by the way but i just look i just would leave it open and prop it you could have some for christmas if you have like pink and you know a lot of people do the different colors like the pink and oh gosh I keep forgetting about that vintage Christmas magazine I got. I wanted to show somebody. I'll have to look tomorrow now. because, Or, you know what? I'll bring it on my live tomorrow. I'm going to write it down right now. Because, you know, I'm going to go live tomorrow. Um, so, let me write down vintage Christmas magazine. And for live tomorrow. So, um, and I'll show. Because, oh, there are some. And I, I have, like, some of the... Um, I just keep some of the older ones that they don't, they don't even publish anymore. But like this with some of that mercury glass beads. Oh, that luscious pink mercury glass bead coming out of there with a few like turquoise colored um, baubles, you know. Mm -hmm. With that starburst. Yes. Uh, I don't know yet, Pat. So make sure you're hitting that. Ding, ding. 
because I do not know. Your girl's going to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> um, and this is $22, and it's number 13. $22, number 13. Oh, it's gorgeous. And, oh, I didn't show you the mark on the back. I'm sorry. <gasps> Kira, uh, Ka Katie, you got it. Awesome. Katie. Yay. And Katie, um, then I can do the, I'll do the records with that. Okay. Well, I, I don't know how to, how, I mean, it's all kind of square, so that'll work out. Um, yeah. Thank you, Katie. All right. This next item is a little different, but you know what? There's somebody out there for everything. Boop, boop, they do. You guys, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> and you're all like, duh, what's new, Michelle? This is also, let me just tell you, 1983, as best I can read it. When my son was a baby, and he'll be 20 on um, Saturday. When he was like a baby slash toddler. Toddler. I don't know. Six months, eight months, whatever. He'd be sitting in his high chair. And I had the TV on. And now this is funny because you can't even imagine that um, Katie Holmes has been around on our radar for 20 years now but she has they did she did a commercial for hair color and I I don't remember if it was like L'Oreal or what but it was like if you google or if you youtube it it's Katie Holmes and it's like uh with a Betty Boop thing and she's like boop boop be do and the Katie, as soon as Katie Holmes came on, and it's funny if he knew, like I tell him, he doesn't even know who Katie Holmes is. You know what I mean? But this commercial, if Jack was in, like, the, we had, like, a, a open concept house at the time. And um, if he was, like, in his high chair eating or something, and that came on, OMG, he was, like, mesmerized. He stopped whatever he was doing. Hi, Lynn. He stopped whatever he was doing. And he was like under her spell. It was so funny. That, her, and then that, um, when Trading Places first came on, that Alex McLeod was the, the host. She's pretty blue-eyed, dark hair. And um, he loved her too. So funny. The things you remember. Anyway, um, Little Miss... Uh, Boop, boop, be do. She has like little silver earrings, I guess. That's what that little thing is. She's a little, you know, she could probably use a little cleaning. She's got a little garter. She got her heels. <laughs> Look, she really has got heels. She's, um, she's bendy there, you know, on her arms. She can give you a little love. And, and then her head is a little, you know. And um, she's going to be $15, and she is number 52. Number 52. Boop, boop, we do. Bella. Oh, she's upstairs. I think she's being sassy. You need to stay out of there. Lori, you got it. Okay, you guys, I don't know how many of you will remember. Um, it was, who made her? Was uh, King, King's, oh, that was feature syndication. I don't know. It says washing instruction, do not immerse in liquid surface clean. 
Um, I don't know who makes her. She's got this tag. Oh, it's made in Taiwan. I know that much. I don't know. Oh, I got some good stuff today. Just saw another thing. Um, oh my gosh, right? Some of those rooms. Oh, send it to Christine. Okay, I will do that. Is she a Betty Boop fan? I got her information, so no worries. I got you. Very nice. Um, you guys, if you remember when I found the whole set, that big set of this, the fruit, fruit pattern or fruit salad pattern, I'm not sure what it was called. This is um, the uh, Fire King. And all of the grapes were gone, but look at this. What? What? Not a bad grape on there. Look at that. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's really, it's perfect. It's perfect. You can see the brush strokes, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like this was never... Look, I, I, got, a, I got something coming up later in the sale. And it sheds a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> anyway, so this is the, um, I mean, it's the Fire King oven where you guys know that. Okay. But this is like the smallest of the mixing bowls. I mean, you guys, that's insane. So this is $15 and it's number six. $15, number six. Vern was awesome. Hi, all right, Jackie, you got it. Jackie, I, I don't think I've ever sold to you. I know you're in Wisconsin. So just make sure you send me your info. Jackie Judas. Um, but yeah, Vern's was good or good. I liked uh Gwen, uh not, what was her name? Genevieve. Genevieve. I liked her a lot too. I wouldn't no, I did not like Hildy for no. Hildy got too weird, and then Doug started getting weird. I didn't like that when he would try to be weird. It was, I liked Frank, even though he was a little country. I liked Frank a lot, and um, and then like when Ty and Carter started trying to do some stuff, they they always had pretty good taste too. Um, yeah, I know, Laurie. <laughs> She did um, moss walls. I remember when she did, when Genevieve did moss on the wall. And I think the person had like allergies or something. I mean, I'm all for some different, but like that was just a little much, I always thought. Hi, Angela. I was just always like, come on, people, like make it, you know, like don't go out of your way to be crazy. I did like it. I think Genevieve is the one that did like a wall where she did that effect where it would like age it and make it look kind of patinaed and like all like kind of kind of like um like how mercury glass looks kind of and I thought that was super cool but I I never liked it when they made some of the rooms go so dark. Oh yeah. No, right? If if yeah, Lori's the red-haired girl. I thought she was good too. I thought, but she was a little too sophisticated for me sometimes. See, like with Genevieve, I always thought Genevieve had some like, um, she had a little probably like a boho thread in her. She had a little more um, hip. She's a little more hip, and I think Lori was just a little. <laughs> I say it like it's a bad thing. Lori was too classy for me. <laughs> She was just too, too good for me. You know what I mean? But I felt like the one that listened to the people the most was always Frank. Like, I feel like he always gave them. Yeah. And that's what I liked about Genevieve. She was like a flower child. And, um. Yeah. I mean, there are a few, there are a few I think that were really good and, you know, hey, Shirley, 
Shirley Pearl. Yeah. I mean, like, you got to be realistic, people. Like, and it hated it when they would, like, ruin somebody's furniture. Oh, I loved him, though. Frank just had such, he was, he had such a good heart. He always listened to the people, always. Anyway, look what I have another one of. You guys, every time I find these, I have to grab them. I have another one. This one's got Noel and the tree and the ornament and the candy cane. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was Hildy, wasn't it? Hildy was the worst, man. And she made not, and, and then like her with her heels. I'm like, uh-uh, girl. Get real. Yes. You know, Regine. Jeannie. So, you guys, this um, cross-stitch Noel thing is $8, and it's number 19. $8, number 19. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Christine, you got it. Um... I wouldn't mind meeting Ty. He's a little too skinny for me, but you know what he has that I, mm. Hey, Beth. Um, Ty, mm. If I was to go for a skinny guy, it would be somebody like Ty. Because he has that V, you know what I mean? That V that guys have. Mm-hmm. He has that V. And I loved that show when he first did it. I cried my eyes out. We always called, when my kids were little, it was the extreme home makeover, right? We called it Happy Cry. <laughs> That's the name of the show. My kids called it Happy Cry because they were little and they didn't know. You know, they were like, Mommy, why are you crying? And I'm like, it's a happy cry. And they so they called it Happy Cry. And just like um, my son, used, hi, Auntie Christy. My son used to, and he's 20 now. Just think about that. He's 20 now. He used to call Fear Factor, oh my gosh. Mommy, can we watch, oh my gosh? Because <laughs> I'd be watching it and I'd be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're not going to eat that. They're not going to do that, you know? <sighs> Anyhow, it's funny the things, right? Uh, all right, this next item up, uh, I think a lot of people really liked, um, but I'm not going to... I mean, I thought about doing an offer up on it. It would be like a lower offer up, but I'm just going to call it $10 and that's it. But it's this beautiful Noritake dish. Look at it. It's gorgeous, right? I mean, the shape of it is really, I think, what I like the most. It's not just round. It's got this like extra, you know, on the side, on the corners here to make it square. I think it's beautiful. And, um... So let me get that here. <laughs> I'll do a few, but I, I can't, I can't, I mean, like, here's the thing. I don't want to sound greedy, but on certain things, yeah, I want to make some money. I mean, don't we all? Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel funny on some of them. And then I feel like sometimes I just ask a certain amount. And if I can't get it, then, you know, whatever. So anyway, this beautiful thing is going to be $10. And it's number 47. $10, number 47. Auntie Sash, you got it. Okay, this item is a little bit of a higher dollar item, actually. Um, this is a super cool, like, th talk about the throwback. Oh, my gosh. It's in the box. These two are not in the package, but these two are. Okay, they're still packaged. That is hilarious. Knock, knock. 
Oh, I hate that. I love it. That's what I mean. I mean, the things that, it's just, there's, that's adorable. That's precious. Okay, so, I should have kept that one out. Okay, on here you can see it's the it's from Star Case. And it's um made in Taiwan. Now I'm gonna get the show you this other one close up. Okay. Oh well the stickers are on all of them. I'm gonna put the other one away and just use one for an example. Okay, so here's the thing. You got your stopper right here, okay? And so you will put your salt in one and your pepper in one, and you could see which one is which, and there's your holes. They're the coolest things. So you would be like salt and pepper, right? Then you have your uh, napkin. Each person would get this. Isn't this the coolest freaking thing? Salt and pepper? Yes. It's salt on one side and pepper down the other. Look at the picture. See the salt and then the pepper on the other side. It's the weirdest, coolest thing. It's a throwback for sure. So yeah, isn't it neat? The set is going to be $20 in the box. You get, you know, the whole set in the set of four in the box. $20 and it's number 74. Made in Taiwan, number 74. There are four of them. I know. Jamie, isn't this the coolest thing? That's true. All this individualizing is great for the social. Oh, I'm over a hundred. Yay. You guys make sure you hit the thumbs up for me, please. All right. Well, it's $20 for number 74. If anybody still wants that. So next they have this little snowman candle. He came in the little lot that I got of my girly candles. I don't know what he is. I think he might be a Hallmark or like American Greetings or something like that, I think. Now, I do have a really cute Santa similar, and I keep him because I love Santa. I don't really love snow, and so I don't love doing the snowman thing. I kind of got rid of all the snowmen. I only have one, I think. And I got rid of all the others. You know, it kind of helps me stay, like, not buying everything. That's all. Thanks, Carrie. So, anyhow, this cutie patootie of a candle is $5 and number 16. And, I mean, look, you can just set it on something. Oh, Cheryl. What did you claim, Cheryl? Oh, Cheryl. Somebody got it. Are you behind, Cheryl? Oh, I feel bad because I know you love that. Oh, Cheryl, I think you need to refresh. The snowman is $5, number 16. I don't know if I said the number. Oh, uh, doesn't he? I wish because I'm hungry for some cookies. Mmm. Gosh, I could go for some real good Christmas cookies. All right, next thing. Oh, is Kim? She's not even here. Oh, yeah, I love girlies. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Gosh darn it. Kim Zap's not, Zap's not here, is she? Um. Anyway, I got this cute little, it's called my G... Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And then there's this cutie patootie of an artist girl. This is so throwback. You guys, look. This is what they hang it on. And for a lot of you that don't know, this is a flip top. This is how we used to open our soda cans. And then you have to pull it off. And then you see, like, I used to go camping when I was a kid. And we'd go collecting these and we'd get to turn them in for money. 
Mm -hmm. And also, if you walked around barefoot, you had to make sure you don't step on those. Yeah. So anyhow, oh, I just love her little bouffant hairdo. She is uh, $15, and she's number 53. $15, number 53. Uh, V8 might have been smaller, so I'm not really sure. Oh, there she is. Kim, my artist person, I was like, I th th thought of you. Ah, oh, you missed it, girl. Ah. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I got it. <laughs> wait. Okay. Christine, you got that. <laughs> and now I'm writing Christine. I should just write side street. It's so much easier, Michelle. Um Okay, wait, what did Lori just say? Okay, Michelle, I'll give you two extra dollars to offer up that Santa. Need my fix. Ha ha ha! Two extra dollars. She's hilarious. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry. Somebody else beat you. And I thought of you, too. I should have just reached out to you. I'm so sorry. I am sorry. Um, next up. Are you sure, Christine? Are you sure, Christine? Yeah. Okay, Kim, Christine said you could buy it. Oh, thank you, Christine. I I just, I wish I would have just reached out to her at first because she always asked me about art stuff. So thank you so much, Christine. I appreciate that. Um. Okay, so the next two items. All right, here's your little Santa fix, Lori. $2 ain't enough to make me holla. <laughs> uh. Oh, I got them kissing. What can I say? They're dancing in the sheets. Um, $5. Here, look at these. Okay, I got a little dancing Santa and Mrs. Santa. Or Mrs. Claus, whatever the heck her name is. <laughs> they are sequined and bedazzled to uh paint the town red okay they have paint uh plastic little faces and i will say that their hair uh looks her hair and his mustache kind of have a little pink tinge to them i will say okay but they're super adorable they're flocked and sequined they are dancing and partying all night long, and they are $15 for the pair, number 78. Number 78. Lori Wortley gets her Santa fix. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. She's a Minnesotan, but I still like her. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, next up is this little... I thought it was so cute when I got it, and then look what I found out yesterday. It's got a little crack in the handle. Eh, whatever. Oh, hush. Ignore her, you guys. Ignore her. Don't make me, don't make me come in that chat. Somebody put Lori in timeout. I'm kidding. I am kidding. Please do not. <laughs> anyway, there you go. It is from John. Okay, you guys, I have to say something. That's right, Polly. Tell her. <laughs> um, When I did the haul on this. Hey, Jane. I am embarrassed to say that I read it and said John Madcock. <laughs> ah! She is crazy. I'm telling you what, she's crazy. I'm going to Minnesota to meet her. I have to. Um, it's not John Madcock, it's John Maddock. Maddock, whatever. I looked a little closer and I thought people probably laughed at me when I said Madcock. 
But I keep saying it because... <laughs> I would never kick you out. I have people to do that for me. <laughs> but anyhow, it's John Maddock. Maddock. Whatever. It's England. It's England. It's still darn cute. Even though it has this weird little crack in it. It's still darn cute, okay? It's $6. It's number 43. $6, number 43. <laughs> right, girl? Mm. Uh, start getting ready for a, a offer. Best offers coming up a couple more items away. These are... I think maybe Jamie might like these. I'm not sure. Um, these are, the brand is Hutzler. Hutzler, okay. And these are some pretty sleek salt and pepper shakers. They have nothing to write home about on them. I have this little... It's just this little scuff. And I think that the barkeeper's friend would get that out. That little scuff there. But they are real simple. I mean, they look like a pillbox, I'll be honest. They are very hustler. <laughs> yeah, they're masculine looking. They're also very kind of like sleek and rich looking. But they are like... um. Well, I guess they're considered like melamine. Mel yeah. But in this kind of form, they sound a little different. Yeah, well, <laughs> what other way do my threads go? <laughs> so anyhow, I just think they're really cool. And I've never heard of that Hutzler. It's H-U-T-Z-L-E-R. They're made in Thailand. They do. They look like so many different things. I don't know. They look like you could keep some cute, cool candy in there and stuff back in the day. Hmm, no. There's no Bob Guccione up in this place. I'll tell you that right now. But anyhow, they're super cool. They're $18 and they're number three. They're $18 and they're number three. Oh my God, the, the, the imaginations run wild. <laughs> That's not hilarious. Okay, this cute thing, isn't this sweet? You guys, I'm so bad with glass, you know that, right? So I don't know, is this cut glass? I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, it's got the fruit design on it. And then, yeah, what were those called? Um, uh, when you said the batteries, what is that called? <sighs> that is called the French tickler? No. If it feels heavy and sharp, it's cut glass. Well, I mean, it's not sharp, but it's got a little weight. I mean, it's small, though, see? Anyhow, it's got the little fruit design, and then it's got this black, or this gold. Oh, God. Fun times there, Jamie. It's kind of cute, right, with this, this, um... Oh, you know what? I just realized. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if we can say that. You guys can allow it. I don't know. I don't know if we can allow it. Hang on. Ah, there we go. Um. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Yeah, you could serve some, uh, whatever, on here. Um, it's $12, and it's number 37. $12, number 37. It's just cute, right? You could put some truffles on here. 
some rum balls, some or uh, some uh, yeah, some ornaments, some olives, whatever. We are we are so bad we're good. <laughs> Okay, Carrie, get your clock ready, girl. I don't know if all the right people are even here, but it's Tanala time. I am quite certain this is just a different looking one. Um, it's got this. See right here, Mexico, Mexico. And it's got some color on it. Yeah. See, I thought so. I'm getting pretty good. I love the one I had, that other one I got, I, I put up for, so I just loved it. This one's a little different. This one's got a little more color and everything. I found this one at the antique mall the other day. And it's just, it's, it's different because it's got that color, you know? And, um, it's in really good condition. Like really good okay let me get you closer i just want you guys to get a good look okay all right yeah the tip of his beak is totally fine to me i mean okay that is like that's a paint loss it's not a chip okay it's like a paint like a little paint blip right there on the tip. Let me see if you can see that. Boy, oh boy, the leg. There's a, there's a long leg today. It's his nostril. It's not, it's not bad. You know, cause you know, sometimes you see something and it just looks like a glare. You guys, I have over 100 people here, but I only have 55 thumbs up. So if we could, on the tip. <laughs> you know, if you could just make sure you give me a thumbs up. That'd be fantastic. So we're going to start it off at $15. And then when Lori, Casey, I mean, Carrie at Casey at ATX says to go, start we're gonna start and stop on her clock that's uh kc atx there we go start all right nobody's interested in this beautiful tanala see sometimes you get the wrong the wrong crowd you never know okay christy's in it at 15. See, I can tell, uh, like, Joanne's not here and whatnot. I think uh, uh, Dottie Lynn, she's the other one that loves this stuff. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Crystal. Hey, old stuff, Beth. Oh, Christy might be getting the deal of the day today. Up oh, $16 from Yo so Boho! Where you been, girl? $16 for Yo so Boho. Up. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to refresh. And just to make sure, because there is some serious lag. Yo, so boho. Sorry, Christy. Yo, so boho. You got it, girl. $16. Okie dokie. Where's my blue and white girl? Cheryl, you still here? I know you like that blue and white stuff. I got these two. Okay. 
I got these two pretty blue and white bowls. They are not marked. You know what? I'll be honest. Uh, I have no idea about these. These could be your kid's college fund or they could be from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> they sound nicer than Dollar Tree, but you know? Yes, little rice bowls. They're very small, yeah. Aren't they beautiful though? And then this one has like more of that Asian design there. And this one's got, well, they're both Asian to me, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, these two together are just going to be $5 for the pair. Because I don't know. They're not marked. $5 for the pair. 14 is the number. Number 14 for $5. You could get a foot long or you could get two cute blue bowls. Blue and white bowls. Blue and white bowls. You guys, I, I put a little bit of my uh, cover up, my powder, on this tissue so I can keep covering up this hideous. You don't want to see the way this thing looks. Oh, my lip. Stress. Anti-sash! Anti-sash! Anti-sash. Anti -sash. Anti -sash. Well, anti-sash, I also have this. Now this is marked Blue Danube, which, whew, when I was looking on the internet, holy cannoli, it's a little pricey, but this has a little chippy, how do they, how does he, what does uh, Vinny call it, chippy whippy? I don't know what he says, but you see that little chip right there, right? Gosh darn it all. I was so ticked when I saw that last night. I mean, come on. How do these things have to happen? Anyway, it's still awfully cute. And it would still be very beautifully chippy whippy. Yeah, just beautiful to use. I mean, just don't eat out of it, right? So it's still going to be $8. Because this thing, if it didn't have that chip, I don't even know. So $8 is number 39. $8 number 39. Yeah, it's Blue Danube. <laughs> yes. Lynn, I think you might need to refresh. You might be a little bit behind. Oh! All the things, boho. Yo, so boho! <laughs> okay, did I say the number? $8, number 39. Oh, you guys. I got something awesome coming up. And I got two of them. see these? <gasps> yes. They are adorable. What? Aren't they the coolest things? And I know they're small, but do you see this color? Do you see this color? I mean, what? Yes. This color. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, I know they're small, but th this color, people, I'm talking about this color, okay? These are the ones you think they are. They are, I promise you. There are a few little imperfections in the glass, okay? Like right here, this this little, little, uh, you know, bump. It's in the manufacturing. Oh, it's still, I like that, you know? Ah, oh, it feels good. <laughs> and so is this one. This one's a little nicer because it doesn't have a little bumpy. 
But these are um, made in, Je in Belgium, just like you thought. Just like all the other good ones. And I'll just say, I don't care if they're small. These are this color, and that is what's going to warrant the price that I put on it, okay? Because I've had different ones in different colors, and I've never had this color, okay? These are going to be $15 each, okay? So what I'm going to do is I kind of want to keep them together. Hi, Green Bee. But I also understand that somebody might not want to pay $15 for two each, you know. Um, somebody might be okay buying one for $15, but not two for $30. So I'm going to give the person that gets it in first the option to purchase both of them, okay? So the first person is going to buy both of them if they want to. And if they pass on the second one, then the number two person can buy one, okay? So they're $15 each. If you decide to get both, they are $30, okay? I hope we're clear on that. Yes, because they're amazing. I mean, these are, I've seen the brown, I've had the green, you know, and all that jazz, but these are great. So um, they're number 23. 23. Thanks, little sis. Well, shocker, Lori Wortley comes in and gets them. So, Lori, you know what I'm going to ask you? Do you want one or do you want two? <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a dumb question, but you have to ask. You got it, girl. You got it. Look at you guys. This is the first time I have ever found a jam jar. Yes. At a Goodwill, I mean. I never find these. Always Jeffrey finding them. Always Jeffrey. But now I found one. Is this strawberry? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> ah. oh, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Oh, my God, Randy girl, you are funny. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Yeah, I be jamming. <laughs> strawberry jamming. <laughs> So, the strawberry jam jar doesn't have any marks on it. I mean, I think it's Hazel Atlas, but it doesn't have a mark on it, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's $8, and it's number 30. $8, and it's number 30. Oh, there's heavy precipitation nearby. All right, geniuses. Like, I couldn't look out the window and see that, even without my glasses. $8, number 30. Speaking of Jeffrey... Speaking of Jeffrey, let me let me show you something. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see all the baby Jeff Jeffs? <laughs> Wait, what now? Who found me the coolest thing? I just have to what? Get motivation. <gasps> oh, I have some. I have a package for you too. I have to just get around to it as well. I mean, I kind of have it in a box. Jack, Jack. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Aaron. Aaron, I got your box. Jermaine brought it beginning in my sales. So guess what I'm doing after this? <laughs> so... Did somebody say Jeffrey? What? Mini Jeffrey egg. Mini Jeffrey egg. And when I say mini, 
I'm going to tell you and show you that it's mini. Because I also have a regular one. What? Now these are going to be separate. <laughs> I did. Didn't I do that when I, Misty, didn't I do that on when I Marco Polo'd you? This is how I Marco Polo'd her. I said, little baby Jeff, Jeff, and his baby Jeff, Jeff, egg. <laughs> little baby Jeff, Jeff. Oh, yeah. I will totally. You buy an egg, you get the Jeff, Jeff. Uh, both of them. You buy an egg, you get a baby Jeff, Jeff. Okay? I, I got no problem with that. Look. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the first egg is made in Japan, obviously. And it's, I feel like it has this light blue haze over it. <laughs> but um, here's the little flowers, okay? Also, Carrie, if you're not interested in this, I'm going to need you because actually the next one is a offer. But anyhow, this little one is $8 and it's number 21. $8, number 21. Hi, Florence. And you get the baby Jeff, Jeff. Oh, Christy got it. Auntie Christy got it. Hi, Maria. All right, Auntie Christy got that. Okay, and the next one is actually an offer up. This is a pink one. And it's Napco wear. It's got the number and the tag, a uh, sticker on the bottom there. Made in Japan. Now, am I the only one, when I see this, am I the only one that, that thinks of when Monica put that um, turkey on her head on Friends? I mean, is it just me? Because I get that feeling when she, like... <laughs> That's what I see when I see one of these. Yeah. I do. I see a big old turkey head on Monica. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, that's all I, what I was thinking right away. So anyhow, you get a little baby Jeff Jeff if you win. Yes, it needs those sunglasses. Right, right. <laughs> well, they can't. That's the feet. That's the thing. That's the feet. Because that's all you see is the head and the feet. So anyway, this is going to be an offer up, a best offer. And we're going to start at $15. As soon as Carrie says go, we're going to go. Or start, whatever. There you go, start. Oh, hi, Melissa. So she said start. We're going to start at $15 for the pink Jeffrey egg. And it's Napco wear and all that beautiful jazz there. And you get the baby Jeff Jeff. Oh yeah, he's got three feet actually. Nobody wants it. Wow. I thought everybody was into these eggs. This is really pretty too. Look at that. 
I mean, I don't have to send the egg with the Jeffrey with it. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, there's a there, there we go with that. That was a bust. <laughs> Live and learn. That's okay. All right, next up I have these two. Um, I might. <laughs> these two little um, chefs, they are magnets. They're made in Korea. They have googly eyes. I'll sell baby Jeff Jeff. So they got googly eyes, and she has braids. She's extra. Do we know anybody else that's extra? <laughs> and he is rocking that that uh, facial hair. So they are six dollars for the pair. And they are number 65, $6 for the pair, number 65. <laughs> My daughter tells me so, I guess I believe it. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Okay. All right. I will sell a baby Jeff Jeff, but first, okay, Melissa, you just got it. And Melissa, I just sent your package at the post office before, um, okay, who's some, is somebody sick, Jane, is somebody sick? Okay, we got bring the fun to a halt, you guys. Let's stop real quick. And who is it that needs our hugs and prayers? Can you let us know who it is? Oh, oh yeah, Misty, you're not at all extra. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna get serious for a second here and find out who needs to what what's going on. For one of our own, it said. Oh, what's wrong with Lynn? Please be praying for Lynn Hampton. I love that lady. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a while, so please let's let's give our our prayers up for uh for Lynn Hampton, whatever it may be. Uh, please let's just send some prayers up for her. Uh, I love her. I mean, she knows she's good. She's good with me. So, all right, all right. Let's continue on with the fun. All right. So, I will give you. A chance to win a baby Jack Jack, mm -hmm. Jeff Jeff, in a minute. But first I have some Boyd's Bears. Why, you say? Why, Michelle, would you have Boyd's Bears? Well, let's put it this way. I also do collectibles, okay? I, I bring you collectibles, and people collect these. And when I found them at the bins, I had to. Because I will say that they were kind of cute. Mm -hmm. At first, I wasn't going to. Yes. Yes, you guys. Um, old Stuff Beth is uh, a Reverend Beth, actually. And so if you guys could, would, um, you know, uh, just put your head down in prayer for a minute and, and, and raise it up for Miss uh, Lynn. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Christy. So, and one of them is from Bear Land. 
I don't know what that is, but she's cute too, so I brought her along. So, yes, amen, Beth. Thank you. You know, look, you guys, I am all for the fun, but I'm also all for, like, you guys. Like, any one of you guys, I would, you know, I would stop and do this for. Like, you don't have to be heavy, heavy into the religion, but yes, yes, amen. And if you don't believe, you guys, just please just be peacefully quiet and hold it, hold your own on it, okay? Because um, uh, when people are in need, prayer can help, so, okay? Um, all right, so we're going to start our, start off with little Spencer. He does see, he has his name written here. None of the other ones do, but he did. He did. He's the investment collectibles from the archive collection. He's got this little tag with him. So whatever. Hey, CJ. He's cutie. The Boyd's collection. Da, 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 Okay, he's a little guy. He's cutie. You're welcome. You're welcome. And um, he is ten dollars, and he's number five. Ten dollars, number five. Right. And and Rachel, you know we've Rachel knows as better as good, if not better than anybody else, because her daddy. We've been praying on him for a good long time, and her also her daddy is a man of God. Right, Rachel? Anyway, uh, $10, number five for this little guy. And then this little girl, I mean this hat. I, I don't know what happens. Well, I don't, I, I, you know, internet is just... Are we back? <laughs> yes, Rachel. That was divine intervention right there. Right? Divine intervention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost got a tear. I'm a little, I gotta say, I, I got goosies. I do. I'm goosebumpy. You guys, Melanie's having a dream. She's like, so it could be at any given moment, we could hear some howling. All I'm saying. <laughs> You're so funny, Melissa. Anyway, isn't this cute? I remember I had a hat like this. I did with that, like, it kind of like floppy, you know. Anyway, mm -hmm, she is, right? She's uh, got a couple different tags. She says Boyd's Bear Bearware. Must be for her hat. And then the archive collection, but she doesn't have a name. So um, she's $8, and she is number 17. $8, number 17. Oh, and you know, they, they are, you know, all like, uh, what do you call that? Um, oh, crap, I don't remember. But you know what I mean. Posable? I don't remember. Now we got this bigger one. He's got, he's weighted. Um, and then this one, he doesn't have a name. Why don't they give them the proper names? But he does have this tag. And he's got the Boyd's collection, yada, yada, yada. 1985 to 99. And this one is a bigger one. He's got like the heavier feet. And he's 
so cute. He wants a hug. He wants a hug. <laughs> He's so cute. He's got his little bow. He's $15 and he's number 33. $15 number 33. And he sits. He sits. Yeah. He's so cute. He's so cute. Beth, you got it. Old stuff, Beth. Now this one is the one that does not, it is not a Boyd's Bear, it's Bear Land in Gardena, California. And she's just cute. She's got a dress and a matching head scarf, bow, whatever. She doesn't have like the posable legs, but but she could sit like that and have her legs dangle. Or you could just put her up like with the other ones because she, her legs move. She's just adorable. And she's $8 and she's number 46. She's $8 and she's number 46. Yeah, she's so cute. Everybody only likes the big one. Nobody likes the little one. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Oh, old stuff, Beth. You got that one, too. Okay. All right. Now, this is just a, a gap scarf. Okay. Gap. You see? Gap. It's probably, oh, my. Well, it's at least six feet long, if not longer. Aw, that's sweet. So, um, you could, do this. You could do so many things. You could wrap this around a few th times, your neck, you know. Probably needs a little bit of a, a, like a delicate cycle cleaning. Or you could also use this in your, you know, like, do you guys see how, see right there? I have oh, right up there on the edge of this thing. I have a scarf hanging there. I don't know. You'll see at some point. I did try random things onto things just to have them, you know, have a little more dimension. Oh, thanks, Christy. And um, texture and stuff. So anyhow, this is just $5 and it's number 71. Five dollars, number seventy-one. I have baby Jeff just staring at me now. Yes, that's the boho in me. And you know what? I need help putting some screws or things in my in my. I have so many things that I want to be hanging. Ugh, it's ridiculous. Oh, speaking of boho. Oh, what? Speaking of boho, look at this beauty of a bag. And yet you can cross it. I mean, you know, it depends on your chest when you cross things. You know what I mean? This also just hangs over the shoulder, whatever. It's really roomy. It's got a zip closure. And then, I mean, like, see how, see how the bottom, that's the bottom. So you could basically fill it, you know, fill that bag up. You see, you know what this would be a good bag for? Would be the, uh, like the uh, farmer's market, if anybody can still go to those. I know. I'm back to 106. You guys, I think 111 or 112 was my high last week. So if I could start getting over those numbers, that would be so cool. I mean, except for when we did the four-way sale, then we had lots and lots. But anyhow, look at the cute ones. They're tiny little ones, tiny little elephants, and then the big elephants, and then the tiny elephants. It's so cute. 
It's only $12 and it's number 66. $12, number 66. Oh. CJ, you got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pickled. Okay, I have this little shedder. Because <laughs> he's shedding. <laughs> he's, um, somebody cut off his tag. Not cool. And he has just a couple little spots where his sawdust is trying to peek through. Right there in the back. Hind quarters. Okay, but other than that, he looks just fine with his googly kind of eye, his red nose, his little lips or mouth, whatever, his tongue, you know what I mean? And then his red um, collar. He's adorable, isn't he? He's a sawdust pooty schnooty, and he is shedding all over my desk, my table, whatever. Um... He's $15, she, he, whatever, $15, number 44, number 44, velvet ears, velvet back of the head, like neck, whatever, head, Randy girl, you got it, hey there, Randy girl, da 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 I had the stuff all over my nightgown last night. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, next up. Okay, it's all in this bowl now because I had it setting in the bowl. Oh, it's so funny. Anyway. <laughs> the bowl, looky there. More grapes. More grapes on both sides. Grapes. And this dish is weird because... It's, and you're going to see it differently, but it says Fire King, yada, 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 and it's on there backwards, and that's a thing, apparently. See how you're seeing it now? It's backwards. So, that's a thing. I, I was like, do I have something special? I do not. <laughs> um, no, it's not snowing. Yesterday morning, there was like that white kind of little bit of slushy sludge. And a friend of mine that lives maybe 20 minutes away had snow on her video. But maybe it snowed early when I was in bed. I don't know. But there was no snow, like, on my ground. And um, right now, it's just um, rain. It's it's icky, cruddy rain. And it's, like, um, I think it was, like, 41 degrees when I went to the bank. Or to the, um, my daughter's home from work. Um, when I went to the post office. Oh, that's okay, Carrie. I, I'll be fine. Um, I don't, I don't even know if I have another offer. I don't have any other offers, so don't worry about it. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, it's just that icky, kind of over, ugly day, you know. Hi, sweet. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Well, duck down so I can see you. They saw me. So, um, do you have a good enough day? It was fine. Okay. Come on. Go. Jack went by grandma's. For what? Probably his birthday money or whatever. Oh my God. I know. Everybody said hi. So, um, this dish, it's the, you know, fruit pattern. I keep calling it fruit salad, but I don't know. Anyway, um, it's a one pint bowl is perfect again it's just all perfect with the grapes i just i now when i see the grapes i am stunned because i know how bad like the other ones looked so good except the grapes were totally gone so it's funny so this is twelve dollars and it's number eight twelve dollars number eight Is that you? 
You weren't gone very long. Yeah, your sister just got home. Oh, Jackie, you got it. That's perfect because you got the other one. <laughs> yes, gay fad. I saw that on. Um, yeah. All right, Jackie, you got the whole set then. That's, or, well, not the whole set, but the set that I have anyway. So that's awesome. All right. Next up, I have another one of these. I don't know if Bobby Mark Antonio is here. Oh, I haven't watched her in a while. I haven't had time, but oh, I love thrifting. I love Michelle at Thrifting 101. Anyway, this is that Ohio Art recipe box. And the other one I had a couple weeks ago was a little more faded. And I felt bad about it. And she's like, oh, no, but the one my mom or grandma, I can't remember, had was really faded, too. But this one's not as faded. But I don't know. I just had to get it in their honor, I suppose. That's how I felt. Oh, yeah. I can't stand. Uh, I just hate snow so much, you guys. No, I don't. Hi, Margaret, Gwen. No, Tammy, I don't. I don't. So anyhow... I have this. <laughs> it's got, you know, it's got its little rough spots. The, with, you know, with the wear and tear from love. But the color is a little more vibrant than the last one I had. That's for sure. Hey, Melody. So anyway, it's $8. And it's number 61. Number 61. $8. Ah, I want a beautiful beach day. Oh, I feel sad that Carrie left. I didn't even do my owls yet, but that's all right. <laughs> Other people like owls too. Old stuff. Beth, got it. Okay, you guys, this next item, it's by a company called House Art. H-O-U-Z-E Art. Let me try to show you. It's, it's probably, I would say, 70s anyway. I know it's hard to see with that glare because this glass but it says another birthday gee how the beers fly by oh you do well that makes me so happy uh actually um tammy um Misty bought a piece and she might be, you know, willing to sell it because I think she was just using it for a fall decor. So she might be willing to sell it to you. So anyhow, isn't this so cute? And it's this, the artist is William Box, I think. Anyway, there was a whole bunch of different ones of this on um, the internet, like different, you know, like sayings on these, uh, this kind of dish. Anyway, it, um... And it's very mid-century, obviously, right? $12, and it's number 77. $12, number 77. I got that mouth of that puta schnuda all over me. It's shedding. Oh, see? She will. I kind of figured. I know how we have to keep the cycle going. So Tammy talked to uh, Misty about that bowl. Or the, did she have the, I think she had the pitcher. I think Misty got a pitcher. So that would be extra cool to go with your bowl. Because I know Joanne Baber got some of the other pieces. <laughs> I love how we can just all cross, cross contaminate what I was going to say. <laughs> Auntie Sash, you got it. <laughs> Okay, the next item is this fuzzy white boot planter that is, 
Um, it's vintage. It's not homemade, but this person is using was using a sour cream thing in there. And I'm going to leave it in there. But also, this old Kohl's tag was in there. And this is very old of a tag. Um, no, it didn't. Hang on just a minute and I'll let you know. <laughs> I hear slippers. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hang on just a minute, pickled. And so it's got the cool greenery on there, the tacky greenery, whatever. It's fluffy and white-ish, <laughs> you know. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be snow white, you know. It's a little, little, you know, time-worn. But um, it's $8, and it's number 35. $8, number 35. Lori Wortley. Yes, because I didn't have many big things on my sale this week, but Lori Wortley still finds a way to buy the biggest, oddest shape thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How can I love you so much when I don't really even know you? But I do. <laughs> I don't have a Rushton. <laughs> That's a Rushton wannabe that I have. Okay, you guys. Um, I have... This is not the end, but... Um, the rest of what I have... Oh, wait. I was going to show that... Um, <laughs> if I could move my hand... Um, that jam jar is eight dollars, and it was number thirty. It, it was um, who asked me? A pickled, pickled tank. It's um eight dollars, and it's number thirty. Okay, you got it, girl. I think you got to send me your information. I don't have. I don't think I have. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't know. Okay. Um, so the next bunch of items I'm selling is going to be ornaments and then I'll go through everything else. Okay. Again, that I didn't sell. So, um, some of you may have seen these in the preview or in the, um, you know, the, um, haul. But these are salt dough ornaments. I mean, we... Make what shirt? I don't know. Um, anyway, I have these awesome salt dough ornaments. They are going to be offer up then. What? <laughs> Just needs to losing an offer up then. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a. Uh, there. This is. The little skier and this they're gonna be eight dollars each and then I have two sets two pairs they're gonna be twenty dollars for the set because they're special extra special these are all super cool if you've seen these you know what I'm talking about and if you haven't you're gonna see in about a minute but these are he's leaving where is he going but they're awesome the first one, and some of them have the dates marked very small on the back. So this first one, where's my daughter perked? Oh gosh, it's crazy here. It's comfy cozy living at gmail.com. Comfy cozy living at gmail.com. Okay, here's the first one. <gasps> Look at it. 
Look at it. Oh, look at the skis. Come on. And those blue eyes and that spaghetti. Thank you, Kim. That's adorable, right? And then it's it was made by C in 81. I mean, this is the coolest thing. So this one is number 38. $8, number 38. Thanks, you guys. $8, number 38. Look at how cute. Lori Wortley gets it. The next one is one of Santa's little helpers. Where did his ornament hook go? Here it is. Oh, he's one of Santa's little helpers, and he was made in 1981 also. Oh, my God. Is he cute or what? I mean, with that spaghetti? Like, this woman was... And these held the test of time, right? Look at his ears, you guys. Get those wonky elf ears. Uh, so cute. He is again eight dollars and he is number twenty-four. Number twenty-four. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I know, aren't they? Belinda, you got it. Belinda Carroll, you got it. The next one is, oh, I don't like snowmen, but this is so friggin' adorable. I can't even stand it. Some of these don't have hooks, but you know what? You girl got you, because I have so many, I have, all these um, cool boxes, and they're full of hooks. I don't need all the hooks. So I will hook you up. Well, wait a minute. These are the, they filled them up with these wrong kind of things. Well, the, no. Well, what the heck? Look what they filled it up with, these. No, that's not right. Oh, uh, gosh. I don't need those either, but, well, you never know. I mean, I, I will use all these kind of things at some point in time. If you don't have a hook on there, though, I will put a hook. I have hooks. Not in this box, but I have hooks. I will hook you up. But, you guys, this was made in 1979. This is the cutest dang thing. Oh, my God. The ice skating snowman. Look at his. Look at him. Look at his skates. Look at, oh yeah, mm. oh, Kurt Russell, uh-uh, mm-hmm, 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 right, that face of his, I, I would not turn my, mm-mm, yes, come on in, honey, mm-hmm, so look at this guy, he's so happy and joyful, and he's just skating away, so skating happy. Yes, he is. No hot chocolate for this guy. Mm -mm. Look at his skates, you guys. Look at his skates. I mean, what evs? He's so adorable. He was made in 1979. I don't know if you could see that. Let me see if I can turn him around better. There you go. So, Little Skating Snowman is... Eight dollars, and he is number eighty. Eight zero, number eighty. <laughs> Lori, I love you, Sally. Sally Costco, Sally Sadie. Sally, I don't think I have your information, so make sure you do send me an email. I mean, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure I never. 
Okay. Next up, and this is from 1981, is Cupid. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow flow straight to my lover's heart for me. Nobody like me. I don't even know all the words. Look at how cute. I mean, she had just such a good talent for the eyes and stuff. Ugh! Look at his little stra spaghetti fate hair. Look at him. How adorbs he is. Awesome. So, Cupid is number four. Eight dollars, number four. He's so doggone cute. Cheryl, you got it. Oh, Cheryl beating Shirley Pearl. That's all right. There's enough for everybody. Then there's this mouse from 1980. <laughs> About time. 1980. He's cute for a mouse. Look at his ears. I mean, come on. He's sweet. He is adorable. Look at him. Aw. So the mouse is number 34. The mouse is number 34. $8. Mm-hmm, he's sexy. God, doggone it. That Goldie Hawn is a lucky woman, I'll tell you that. Nettie! Nettie, you got the mouse. And I have your info. <laughs> okay, do we have any nurses out there? Um, Auntie Sash, you said number nine. That's an, I don't, the, I think you hit the wrong number. Plus, I haven't done number nine yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is Hi Sandy. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, look. I know, right? I could give him a little bedside manner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll change out his bedpan, all right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Sponge bath, Mr. Russell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Florence Nightingale at your service. See, she's the one that's got the little flowers. The little millinery. Isn't that something? <laughs> she's just adorable. Look at her. I know, right? Ay, ay, ay. And you know what? The funny thing is, like, he's such a good guy because, you know, Dudes are all about the boobs, let's face it. And she doesn't have any. So she never had to sag because she never had boobs to begin with. I mean, she's just the cutest thing. And then she doesn't even have to worry about sagging because she doesn't have anything to sag. I mean, she's just perfect, right? Then she's got him. I mean, dang. I'd stay on my game if I had him too. Heck. A little Nurse was made in 1979. Oh, I know. I love that movie. Anyway, I know I could take her. With one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> Anyhow, Little Nursey is, six, is number 64. $8, number 64. Oh, $8, number 64. Cheryl Megason, you got it. Okay, now I'm coming up to the pair, the two pairs left. And that is the first pair, what would be what you would expect from Christmas. And they are from 1980. And that is Santa and Mrs. Claus. Now, Santa, I don't know which list he's holding. It could be 
This is the sass, the naughty list. Pat, Mike, Kathy, and Bill are on this list. So you guys make your assumptions from there. Is Pat Hall here? Pat Hall, are you here? Let me see. <laughs> so, um, yeah. They are. And she, yeah, Pat, see? Are you, you're on this list, Pat. <gasps> you don't, Bill. <laughs> Joanne uh, Baber's boyfriend's name is Bill. I mean, I don't know, Pat. Are you? Which list do you think you're on? Hmm. And were you acting out with Mike, Kathy, and Bill? <laughs> nice, of course. Because if you are on the nice list, then look, Mrs. Claus has some cookies for you. She's so sweet. Oh. Oh, that's awesome, Cheryl. Don't be sorry. Uh, don't be sorry for Lori, cause she got all the, she got all the rest. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know I love you, Lori. <laughs> so anyhow, the pair of them are gonna be twenty dollars, and they are number sixty nine. Sixty nine for Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Santa and Mrs. And it goes to Lori Wortley. <laughs> I got one more set left, and you guys are going to love them. I promise you're going to love these two. They're so stinking cute. I mean, come on. This woman that made these, I mean, can we just say... Can we just have a moment for this woman? <laughs> ah. <laughs> do you think I don't do some of these things on purpose? <laughs> I mean, hi, Julie. These are made 1980. And I mean, I don't even know what to say. They are stinking adorable. Devil and Angel. Look at these. <laughs> Dirty bird. <laughs> Look, he still has his pitchfork. Look at his tail with the little, little pointed end. How cute. Look at his face is a little red because it's hot where he comes from. He's got his little horns and he's got his spaghetti. And then she with this, all the spaghetti blonde hair. And her sweet little wings and her halo, you guys. Let's not let's not uh forget this halo. Come on. Don't sleep on that, boy. She got her halo. And my halo. Halo, halo, halo. I don't know. My daughter would have to sing. I can't. Um, I think um her little outfit is tucked in together. So it's like, you know, like, they're like, Rachel, can you sing Halo for me? Ew, no. Look, because she's got her Halo. Halo. I'm doing your card, but what is your card here for? Um, because Jack had it, but you can use it. To get food? Where are you going? Why? Just because I want to know. Um, no new business. Mmm. I'll be back in like 20 minutes. Can you get me a... Get me a chai, a hot chai. Can I get food? Where are you going to go yeah. for food? If they have that honey chicken, yeah. then I want some of that. Yeah. yeah. Hot. Yeah. I mean, but I got to make them work for it sometimes. You know what I mean? <sighs> oh, what time is it? Oh, the boy has to work. That's why he, where did he? Oh, well, maybe he had to leave for work or maybe he's going to eat and then go, I don't know, who cares? I mean, I care. But yeah, I think that's where he, look. Okay, let's get back to this. And Right? Because I want to know, right? I'm your mother. I mean, 
when I was a kid, because I said so, was a totally fine and acceptable answer. And that was that. Well, whatever. Okay. Well, what, what perfect timing for the angel and the devil. <laughs> right? And her little halo, halo, halo. <laughs> okay, they're $20 and they're number 22. Number 22. Two. I'm making it easy for you. 22. Two. Two, 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 two. Nettie. Nettie, you got them. Yes. Dang it. When I say so, that's all that I need to do. That's all I should have to do. Say it. Say it, sister. She's like, I'm going to use your car. She just takes my car. The girl has a little bit of a lead foot, I will say. Uh, uh, and I mean, like, she doesn't know how to slow down. She's worse than me. Like, I go, I go, sometimes I'm grandma when I drive. Just saying. Okay. These are freaking adorable. Look at these. That's right. Oh, what did she say? I would be in so much trouble. Right! I mean, I give them so much freedom. Now, granted, they're 18 and 19, about to be 20. But you live under my roof, honey. Mm. I still need to know. And plus, she took my car. And she has her own car. Where is her car? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, this, like, it, like, it comes apart or something. But, or maybe this needs to be glued back in. So, there's a little hole. So, you can put it a uh, little string and make an ornament hook. Yeah. And then there's, I thought there was one on here too. I don't see one on here, but I mean, you could hang it from its little ribbon. Yeah. Well, she took my, my credit card, my debit card, whatever. So here they are. They're ten dollars for the pair, and they're number forty-five. I mean, they could just sit. They're cute for mice. <laughs> that's why you are. That's why you act out now, right? <laughs> so the mice are ten dollars, number forty-five. Ten dollars, number forty-five. Now I have a whole nother um, set of little ornaments. Not not a ton, but well, you know, yeah. <laughs> These are just um, two little wooden presents. Oh, the, they were $10 for the pair. $10 for the two little, $10. Do you see them? Am I angling them okay? So these little wooden presents, they're nothing special. They're just like, you know, a little a little add-on. They're just $3, number nine. $3, number nine. Um, well, Lynn, what are you looking at now? What are you, are you seeing me doing these ornaments and stuff? Vivian, you changed your, is that a different account or what now? <laughs> it's slick. Vivian, you got, that's right, you better knock, knock, knock on wood. Oh, you better knock, knock, knock on wood. Oh, well, you're all good with me, girl. I got all your information. I actually know your email. Yours is one of the emails that I know, like, when I... Oh, yeah, you're on track then, Lynn. 
Um, okay. And now we got these two. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Londa. All right, so these two very lightweight little suckers. <laughs> oh, you're all right. Oh, Poda Schnuda! Poda Schnuda, you missed two Poda Schnudas today. All right, Poda. Are you still there? <laughs> I'm getting a hot one, a hot chai. So these two little lollipops. Okay, hang on just a minute, Shnuda. I got to show you something real quick so I can, uh, I'm using my, yeah. $8, number 12, $8, number 12. Look at, they have strawberries and polka dots. Strawberries and polka dots. Pet haul, who thinks she's on the good list? Pat Hall thinks she's on the good list. Do we know? We don't know. But she's going to get some treats anyway. <laughs> okay, Schnuda, I've been, I'm, I got to use this because I've been wanting to show you forever. Sorry, everybody else can go take a little uh, potty break for a second. I have these. They're paper. There are a lot. There's like 30 of them, I think, or 40 or 50. I don't know. It, it, I mean, it's not going to be $2 here, but um, so these, if you're interested, okay. And, and this I paid up for, but I would still, you know, I won't pay, charge you up too much on these. This is, yeah, yeah. Look, it's their little hand pillows. Oh my gosh. There's nothing in there, you know, anymore, but they were the little lotion pillows. <laughs> and then I have some hooks. They're a little heavy though. Okay, but good. Okay, good. I just wanted to show you and I'll, I'll send you an email. I still have to look at that last email you sent me, but she sends me the cutest emails, you guys. Anyway. Um, okay, so cool beans. All right, good job. <laughs> yes, you know I got you, girl. You know. Okay, next thing is, oh, look, how funny. Squirrel. <laughs> I have some other, I, I could get more even, I don't know. Um, this is a little, a little bell. I mean, it's like, is it lodged up in there? Cause this was in there, you know, to keep it quiet. It's a, it's a JSNY Sri Lanka. <laughs> I still got more. I got these mugs and I know they're going to be heavy, but I won't, I, I won't charge you crazy money. Cause you know, I love you girl. Anyhow, it's a Sri Lanka. It's a cute little, I mean, you know, as far as I can go cute for, uh, I guess, a squirrel with that tail. And he's got his little Santa hat. And the Santa hat has a little pom-pom on it. How cute. You know I got you, girl. And this is $5, and it's number 41. $5, number 41. Timmy tidbits, I can add it to your pile. Timmy tidbits. Okay. Rocking horse, cross stitch rocking horse. And he's a little, 
wonky here like I was trying to get him to stand and he stands but then you kind of have to you know widen that you gotta just spread that you gotta spread his legs a little Aww. oh well I'm glad I love me some poodle schnoodle she knows it <laughs> well I got a pile for Tammy too but my kids from their dad and stepmom got luggage as if they're going on some kind of freaking cross-country trip because they got a piece of small and large. And both of them are like, why do we need all this? But whatever. Um, and so I used the small box and I was like, please don't let me have to use that large box. <laughs> I got it in there. So anyhow, there's the rocking horse cross-stitch ornament. Okay, yeah, plastic canvas. It's very lightweight, cute, right? <laughs> and it's uh, $5, number 62, $5, number 62. $5, number 62. Nanette, you got it. Surely Pearl's giving everybody else the, uh, the riches today. Um, okay, this one, I don't know what happened to the other, uh, drumstick, but, you know, you all have cute, you all have toothpicks, so I'm sure you could stick one in there. I don't even know if there was another one in there. And also, where the heck is the ornament thing? I don't know. So you could just use this in your decor, or you could find a ornament hook and stick it in there. You can find an ornament hook and stick it. So, parumpa pom pom. Here is your drum. This is five dollars, and it's number seventy-two. Number seventy-two. Five dollars. <laughs> oh, you know what, Lori? You're probably right. <laughs> Lori Wortley got the drum. Lori Wortley, I'm not even writing your name anymore. Just put LW. <laughs> All right. I got this little house. Also missing a, a little... Some of these are. They're just... Well, that's all right. You would just be able to make your own little village. This is super adorable, though. It's got the felt on the bottom. And then... Oh, really? That's cool. Anyhow, aw. All right, bye, Nettie. So this little cross-stitch house is so super cute. $5, number 57. You want to know why it's number 57 for the house? Because I grew up on 57th Street in Milwaukee, North 57th Street. And our house was actually brick red, like brick red, bricks on the front and then yellow siding. I know it sounds weird, but. Lori Wortley. You got it. Okay, these next two are two different numbers because they're two different colors. Look. Aw, I am, I love it. Look, and they have little flowers on the sides. Both sides. They have the knitting needles. They have my DNA. Yes. What more could you ask for? <laughs> they have little red balls of yarn. Aw, Ed Green. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So the red one, they're five dollars each. The red one is number 40. Number 40. Auntie Sash. I don't see anything frozen on my, um, I don't see anything frozen. Mm. 
Okay, so that's the red one. And then the green one is number 27 for $5. Number 27 for $5. Auntie Sash, it only makes sense that you would get that. Yay. Okay. Oh, anybody in the mood for a little gingerbread man? I'd sure like to bite his head off right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's so cute. And he has his hook already in there. Yay, he's adorable. Ah, oh, he's adorable. I used to do my kitchen in all gingerbread man. Um, and then I stopped and I only have one and it's because he's clutching this wooden spoon and it was like the first thing I bought at a craft fair when I moved back here after my divorce. So I kept him. But ooh. What? Auntie Sash, you are speaking my language. I, well, guess what I got? Uh-huh. You know how I love me some Belveda? They have gingerbread Belveda. Now, look, I was not happy because I found it at the end of an aisle in the frozen section. What? Why on earth? At the end of the frozen stuff, would you there be displaying Belvita cracker chip, whatever they are? It's weird, right? Yeah, my daughter's getting me a chai tea. I, I love me a chai tea latte. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, um, I like chocolate, but I don't know. You know what I do like is a dirty chai. Mm-hmm. Put you a shot of espresso in there. Ah, my God, it's good. It's good. And I love gingerbread. Yes. Yum. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting all, yeah. <laughs> all right, so this little cutie, oops. This little cutie. <laughs> oh, hey, Joni. I love a chai tea latte. Mm. Okay, $5 and he is number 48. $5 and he is number 48. Lori Wortley. Look at this rocking horse. Now, I don't know if he's a Kurt at... Adler, Adler, I don't think so. He, those are more flat, right? Look, I don't know where... It looks like his little thingy was broken, so he can't be hung unless you put a string around his neck. Or you could put just put him, you know, because he's fine on a flat surface. Look how cute. Isn't he adorable? Look at his ears. He's got pink ears. I mean, come on. I love pink. Anything. Pink ears. Oh, how cute is he? All right. Bye, Margaret Gwen. Oh, I'm glad. Um, So this is $5 and it's number 70. $5, number 70. Carmen, you got it. And look at little Mr. Snowman. Look at him. He's probably made out of a styrofoam ball. And I don't um I don't know if this is crochet or what. Look at his hat and everything. How cute is he? He's cute. He's so cute. He's vintage too, you can tell. So he is also number, he is also $5. <laughs> yeah, I think he's knit. Yes. He's $5 and he's number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Sally Casca. You got it.
And goodness, I think this might be the last one. This one is Three Little Hearts. There, I had it the wrong way. Three Little Hearts with little bows and and pom-poms. They're like quilted. Mm -hmm. So that's $5 and that's number 28. $5 and number 28. Quilted hearts. They're cute with that like fabric on there. I like that. Oh, Melissa, you got it. All right, I'm going to go back. I'll go back through to the beginning um, and go through what I did and sell if that's what you guys want me to do. Let me know. You got it, girl. You got it. All right. Very first thing nobody bought, which I was kind of surprised. Did I win number 19? Uh, I think you did. <laughs> oh, wait. What was number 19? Let me see. Let me see. No, you didn't. That Noel drop thing that was went to Side Street Market. Sorry, Nanette. But you got some things. All right, let's go through it. Hey, Shirley Pearl. All right. You have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving too, Miss Shirley. And I will go live tomorrow at some point. So make sure you hit the bell. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I sold, it's always the first few items. People just don't want to buy it. But this is a cute little Art Deco set. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You put your napkins in here. You put your salt and pepper on the side. And they look, look at that. Aren't those cute? And they are Japan. Can you see that? It's stainless steel chrome. Look at how cute this is. This is a really cute set. Aren't they cute? They were full of salt and pepper. Yeah, I had to empty them. And that's $10 and it's number 42. $10 number 42. So stinking cute. Then I've got the Inuit cinnamon and sugar shaker. And it's now a bank. See, it's got the slot there. And it's so funny because I had some change here and then I put it in my purse. And I could have showed you. So that is $12 and it's number 36. $12, number 36. This little Kraft macaroni and cheese bowl, dino bowl, 
is five dollars number 59 five dollars number 59 And guys, make sure you're you're um, refreshing from time to time. Okay, Melissa, you got it. got this cute little hobbyist piece made by Mary in 1981. It's beautiful. The only thing is that it has a couple chips. There's a couple chips right here. And then one right on the side. Yeah, right here above this finger and then right here. And it's hard to tell with that shining. There, you can see them. So, but this would still be amazing to just... You know, you could use it for hard candy or covered, you know, candy like that's in a wrapper or you could just use it for a trinket dish in your bedroom if you decorate or like I was saying before, which would be super cute, like put some um, mercury glass beads in there or a few ornament balls or I mean, you know, you could totally make like a little you know, just like put a few of your little, well, that's stupid. Oh, Mr. There you go. You know, that's cute. Uh-huh. Yep. I, I am available. <laughs> Fly me in, I'll decorate. Um, And I mean that. Six dollars. Uh, I would do five dollars on this. Five dollars, number twenty six. Five dollars, number twenty six. And also, I would do ten dollars on the Inuit cinnamon sugar shaker bank. Uh, I would do ten dollars, and it's number thirty six. Ten dollars, number thirty six like this um yeah yes um Lori we do oh okay um number 26 goes to Melissa um yes Lori um but my son is allergic to milk so we don't do a lot of pizza in this house we did do uh those pizzas one time for a birthday party though because I could get it without cheese and they could the kids made their own that was when they were kids though but yeah, I think that's the one. Is that the one that has the cowboy pizza? I think I get that one too. It's been forever, but it was delicious. Yeah, it's like five minutes from my house, dude. So anyway, yeah. Did anybody want this one for $10? $10? It would look so cute in your decor because it's for winter. Yes, that's so cute. So cute. You should buy get. Oh. You know, I don't, I mean, I've made some different pizzas because you have to have a certain kind of crust too because a lot of things have. Well, he is not, a, uh, he's not intolerant. He is totally allergic. Yeah, so, sucks. Number 36, all right, we'll stay put. We'll go nowhere. Oh, and also, I will reduce the price on this beautiful Art Deco set to $8. $8. And this is from Japan. $8 from this, for this lovely salt and pepper napkin holder Art Deco set. And that's 42 is the number. Number 42 for $8. Um, let's see here. Oh, Carmen, okay. You got it, girl. It's a cool 
set. It really is. Carmen got number 42. Daya. I'm going to write that down, though. Okay. Oh, and everybody bought this little gold angel. It's really precious. It's, um, you know, ceramic or whatever. It's, it, there's no chips or cracks or anything. Very sweet. Eight dollars and it's number one. Eight dollars, number one. It's so sweet. Look at the wings. Hi, Florence. Yeah, you got that. All right. Oh, baby Jeff, Jeff. Baby Jeff, Jeff. You already got full to that one. All right. Next. All right, the um, brass ashtray. Oh, I love this. Made in India. Did I show that part before? Yay. Oh, you going to sleep, Tammy? Okay, you got it, girl. I'll be uh, getting your package wrapped up, I promise you. There's that. Uh, there. Anyhow, look at the pretty design. And it's, you know, it's an ashtray, but again... Your things. You just your things. Super cute. Eight dollars, number thirty-two. Eight dollars, number thirty-two. Shenuda. Okay, this um, this next item is one that I was saying how it gave me out. If when I first gave it a look, I was like spode, okay, and then I got close, and I'm like, oh wait, it's it's not, yeah, it's um, Otagiri. What? That's. What now? I mean, I was surprised in a good way. I thought it was really nice. It's lacquerware. It's made by an, a greeting card for a greeting card design. I don't understand all that. But yeah, it was like, um, I think it was like eight inches by five or something. Five and a half or five and three quarters inches. Yeah, nice little lacquerware dish set or um, dish. And it is... Twelve dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it down to ten. Ten dollars, number seventy three. Ten dollars, number seventy three. For the Otagiri Christmas tree, oh, cheese tray. You can put pedophores on it. Whatever. Sue, you got it. Sue Golombeski. All right. All right. Oh, nobody bought the cool mid-century, super cool all-in-one napkin ring, uh, salt and peps. There's four of them. I gotta get my little display helpers out. You have individual. So it's by star case and then here's your little uh, stoppers you take those out and you uh, you put salt and pepper and then here's your holes on each side you, each person will have their napkin and then their salt and their pepper and it's so cool right it just sits down you know, like however you want to put it in front of them at the table. Okay. This is, there's, it's a set of four in the box. Two of them are in the bag still. These have not been used. These are so cool. 
I mean, you are going to make a statement with these at your table. That's what I'm saying. Okay. These are number 74 and they're number 20. I mean, $20, $20, <laughs> number 74, <laughs> $20, number 74. <laughs> in the box. Then there's this little snowman. I think he's probably Hallmark or something. He doesn't have anything. He was just in this, um, a uh, lot of candles that I bought the other day and I just, I really bought them for the girlies and this was in there. So um, this is $5 and it's number 16. Look how cute he is. $5 number 16. Tanya, you got it. Tanya Horton. Or is it Tanya? I'm sorry. Um, the little personal creamer. This little personal creamer with the cutest little handle, except for the fact that last night I realized that the handle has a little crack. But it's from England. And it's six dollars, number forty three. Six dollars, number forty three. It's so cute. You could put toothpicks in it, you could put a air plant in it, you could put not really, but you could put your lip stuff in it. <laughs> $6, number 43. Okay, these Hutzler salt and pepper. These are mid-century. Hey, precious. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going through things the second time, Joanne. And also, I um, I was talking about the um, paint by numbers earlier, and so I know specifically the one you're interested in, one or two, or I'm not sure, but I know for sure the one. And um, oh, okay, Tanya, um, I um, I'm gonna be like looking at those possibly tonight, and then I will send you an email about it. Um, and to see if you're cool with the price that I come up with. I'm talking to somebody else to help you out with the pricing. Okay. So, yes. Um, so yeah, these are super cool. They are mid-century salt and peppers or whatever you want them to be. Um, and they're from Hutzler, not Hustler, Hutzler. H-U-T-Z-L-E-R, made in Thailand. I believe there's like a little uh, something that they they could be in, but they're, that's not here. So these are $18. Um, I will mark it down to $15. $15 for these, and it's number three. $15 for number three. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, nobody bought that. I'm surprised. Okay. This little um, dish. Can't change my mind. <laughs> this dish with this cute handle and the gold around. And then it's got the fruit like pattern in the glass. And it's got 
cut glass, I believe. This would be good for, um, I mean, this would be good if you used it in like a vanity or whatever for jewelry or your little, you know, just little things you want to set down or even a pile of Q-tips or something. I don't know. But you could also use it like for some, um, you know, little treats. And this is uh, $12. I'll mark it down to $10. $10 and it's number 37. $10, number 37. It's really pretty. <laughs> okay. I still have that blue um, the blue Danube. Hey, Gina. Well, not really. No, no. And you know what, Joanne? The Tanala went really cheap, too. I'm sorry you weren't here for it, but the Tanala went for $16. Kind of bummed about it, but what are you going to do? Um, so this blue Danube bowl, it's marked down because of this stinking little chip. These things are really pricey online. And so I have it marked at $8 for number 39. $8, number 39. Oh, the little Jeffrey egg didn't go. Not the little one. The little one went. The big one didn't go. Um, I think we're going to end up bringing this to the sale Tuesday and do a, another offer up and see where that goes. Um, but I'm going to go back to these bears because I still have two of the bears left. And that is, um, uh, this is Spencer and... Um, I don't know what her name is, but she's got the little green hat. They actually seem to me like they go together, even though she is uh, 1990 to 1998, and he is 1980 to 1998, 99. 19, oh, wait, does that say 1990? Oh, maybe they both say the same. No, she, he says to 1999, and hers says to 1998. Whatever. They're both from the um, investment. Oh, no. He is, yeah, investment collectibles. He's from the archive. They're both from the archive collection. Goodness gracious. What do I have on them? 10 and 8. I'll do the set for 15. The pair for 15. If anybody's interested in the pair for 15, you can give me number 100. <laughs> and if nobody wants them both, oh, okay. Here it is. Look at the bottom. Nap go where? Oh. Nap go where? Little sticker. And it's pink. It's gorgeous. And it's got that, what is it, moriage? With that extra, that like paint on the outside. Isn't that Moriage? Moriagi, as Laura says. Mm-hmm. Beauteous. And you get the little baby Jack Jack. Jeff Jeff. This one didn't have a tag on it. It doesn't matter, but. <sighs> ah, there we go. So, 
Um, I mean, I, I had this on an offer up. So you just want to just see it for Tuesday or do you want me to put it on offer up right now again? I mean, there's 50 people here. I don't mind. But I'd rather save it till till Tuesday at this point. So, um... Yeah, I'm showing it right now for you. She just messaged me. Okay. Um, yeah, it's right here. It's right here, Sandy. So the bears, I will mark them down each then if nobody wants them both. Um, the I'll do Spencer for $8. And he's number five, number five for eight dollars. That's cute. And then the girl with the little hat, I will do her for six dollars. Six dollars, and she's number seventeen. Six dollars, number seventeen. They have the gap scarf, it's thinner, it needs probably to be washed on a delicate cycle. I would say it's at least six or seven, I would say it's six feet long. I mean. Maybe seven. And you could do so many things with this. Number 17. Okay, Melissa, you got the one with the you got the one with the green hat. You could do it like that. Very simple. Or you could do like, because it's so long, you know, you could wrap it around a couple times if you, you know, want. Or you could use it in your decor. I like to just, you know, add them all over the place because they give good texture and everything. And that is only $5 and it's number 71. It's from The Gap. $5, number 71. In the gap. Oh, I forgot these. Oh my gosh, I forgot two other. I never wrote these down too. What the heck? You know, I was staring right at them. Ugh, these things are huge. Hang on, I gotta write these down. These things are massive. Okay, I got you um, for that bear. I got Melissa for the, oh, and number 71, you want the scarf too, Melissa, for your niece. Okay. Yeah, just make sure you give it a, a wash on the delicate cycle. Or soak it, whatever, however. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how I didn't write this down before. I don't know, but bells, I'm sorry, but they're not cheap. These are amazing. Look at these big fat bells. Do you see these? There's five bells and they're all on this gold uh, tied braid, whatever, on this big old hook thing. Do you see these? And they have marbles inside. And I don't know if you can see the color inside. There, you can see that. See that? They're all like that green, except for I think this one's blue. Maybe it is the... Maybe it is the same. Nope, that one's blue, I think. Anyway, these are going to be nine, uh, $18. 
$18 and I'm sorry, I need a number. And they are number 55, number 55. Number 55. Pat Hall, you got them. You got them, Pat Hall. And then, also have, oh, I don't even know. I didn't get to look at these yet. Um, uh, I feel bad, but let me look at these for just a second. <laughs> well, here's the thing. They don't have a mark on them. They give me a, a Tanella vibe too with the way they're painted and the way they're shaped, but there's no marks on these. Gosh. Okay. I am going to say 20 for the pair. <laughs> and they're two different sizes. The one is about four and a half inches tall. And the other one's about three and a half inches tall. They're going to be $20 and they're number 60. $20, number 60. They are really nice. Yeah, they give me the Tanala vibe with the way their tails are shaped and stuff. Don't they? And the, even the, like the way they're done there. Nope. Okay. Hmm. My owl people are gone. Okay, and then let's continue on. <laughs> I used to as a kid, and then I stopped at some point, so. Um, oh, the googly-eyed chef magnets. They're from Korea. They're made in Korea. Well, if you have a chef in your life, they're googly-eyed, and she is extra with her braids. They are only $6 for the pair. They're magnets. And they're number... Wait a minute. Somebody got these. All right, see you later, Nancy Sash. You got those. Okay. I was like, wait, somebody got those because I circled them. <laughs> okay, Melissa. <laughs> Sorry. I knew somebody got them because I circled it. I would have had to look back, but thank you, Melissa. I'm sorry, you guys. So I, you know, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Um, Spencer. Spencer, where are you? Where did I put you? He's the only bear that didn't sell. Oh, he's the only lonely bear that didn't sell. Spencer, what if you, what if, what if you were $6, Spencer? Do you think somebody would buy you for $6? All right, thanks, Kim. See you later, little pretty. Um, number five for Spencer, if, if $6 is going to be better for you. $6. So bye, Kim. Bye, little pretty. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're right. You're right, Melissa. Hi. Bye. Bye. Little pretty. Okay. Will somebody buy me if I'm only $6? I don't want to be sitting here all alone when all the other bears got to go. 
and nobody wants me? That makes me sad. I kind of look like the snuggle bear, and I kind of sound like him, don't I? <laughs> well, now I sound like the doughboy. Oops. <laughs> oh. Number five. <laughs> All right, Cheryl, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Oh, the wooden mice, they didn't get sold. Um, I could do $8 on these guys. $8 for the big and small wooden mice. And that would be for number 45, $8. You could change out those bows if you don't like those you know or if you like red instead or something like that okay Carmen you got them number 45 for eight dollars happy Thanksgiving to you too Cheryl all right Okay, so all of the ornaments are sold. Those were super cool. I know that. So the owls are still available. The Jeffrey Eagle wait till Monday. I only have a few things that didn't sell. This didn't sell. If anybody's interested in, in it and doesn't feel good with the $10, then you can make me an offer on it. Look at that with the cute, I mean, this is really a nice piece though. It's substantial. The fruit pattern on the bottom. <laughs> hey, Terry. So yeah, if you, if you are interested in this and you don't want to pay, what does that say, eight? Yep, you got it, Christy. Eight dollars will do it. Auntie Christy. And then these, I marked down to 15, you guys, for the um, mid-century salt and peps from Hutzler's. Hutzler, $15 from number three. $15 from number three. You got it, Christy. Oh, this, this blue Danube bowl. It's got that little chip. I'll mark it down to six. These are really pricey online, but that chip is, you know, a bummer. No problem, Belinda. Thank you. Glad you got something too. Oh, you're the sweetest. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. So blue Danube, and it's just got that one little chip. I'll do $6 on it, and it's number 39. $6, number 39. Oh, yeah. Where's that little creamer? Oh, here. I could do... um. I could do $5 on this, even though it's got the little crack. It does have a little crack right there, but I'll do $5 on this. It's number 43. Oh, 39. You got it, Melissa. You got it. Number 43 for $5. 43 for $5. Just got that little bit of a crack in the handle. I mean, you it's not going anywhere. It's probably even what I would call an old crack. Um, and let me see here. Oh yeah, this is still available, the Inuit 
shaker. $10, number 36. And the brass ashtray for $8, number 32. The super cool napkin salt and pepper shaker rings, $20, number 74. That might be it. The owls, I mean, that's kind of new. I It was at the end and then also, well, hold on, I kind of forgot it. These are so good, though. They're so good. $20 for the pair, and they're number 60. They're really good. They're like chubsters. $20 for the pair. And they really like have that Tanala vibe. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's just how they look. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that they are because they don't have any kind of mark on them. So I'm just saying that they give me that vibe. So $20 for the pair and that's number 60. Um, and I believe that is all. Yeah. Owls, the creamer, the salt and pepper, salt and pepper, the salt and pepper napkins, the brush, the ashtray, and the Inuit. That's all that's left available. So let me let me refresh for a minute. All right, yeah. I know I really like that too. I, I like it because of the boho vibe of it. That's really cool. I mean, the only thing that makes it, you know, an ashtray is this. So thanks, Melissa. Aw, thank you. We appreciate you. I really do. All right. I think we're done here. Right? Right? Everybody wants the little... Happy Thanksgiving to you as well, Terry. So, all right, everybody. My girl is home. Very loud music. Thank you all, you guys. I am so grateful and thankful for all of you, each and every one of you, even though there's only 41 of you left. All 41 of you are just very special and meaningful to me. And I hope you have a beautiful day tomorrow, whether it be with your families or extended families or alone. And I, I do feel, um, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, why is that held for review? That's weird. Um, so I just want to let you know that I am, um, very thankful for all of you. No worries. No worries ever. And I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And if you are alone tomorrow, I mean, I'm going to be with my daughter, so I'll probably be alone. She'll probably be upstairs. Um, but, um, please, please, please keep in mind that I am going to go live tomorrow. I do have plans to talk to Laura from Fat Bird Finds about some of the new things that they found. Um, they got a mother load of scarves if you didn't see their latest video Tuesday. Holy cow. And tomorrow they're having a, re or Friday, they're having a regular sale. I can't wait. So um, yeah, definitely um, tune in to Fat Bird Fr Finds Friday night for flipping and sipping. Oh, it's gonna be good. And um, tomorrow on Thursday, Thanksgiving, know that your bell could go off and I could go live. And uh, so, yeah, I wish you could all just send me some 
yummy food and uh, desserts and treats, but oh well. Have a great day. Uh, have a good night tonight. Lead up to a great day tomorrow. Yeah, you did already. That's right. Well, you know what, Melissa, I hope you get some rest and I hope you're feeling well. Polly, if you're still on, I really hope you're um, feeling better. Uh, my email is comfycozyliving at gmail.com. So just make sure to send me your uh, your email, your real name and your YouTube name if they're different. And then your um, mailing address and your PayPal information, your PayPal address. So um, that I would be able to box it up and PayPal invoice you. And as soon as you pay the invoice, I, uh, I try to get as close as I can to the post office. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll go to the post office on Friday <laughs> or whenever, you know. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. And again, uh, have a blessed uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be with the ones you love. And if you're not, then you can be with me instead because I don't get to be with my loved ones either, uh, except for my daughter because my son's going to end up going to his girlfriend's and my cousin end up canceling ours. So I will uh, see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.